Connie and Skill guys, next here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we have another weapon to do. It is the last faction rally weapon I have to do before we get obviously if someone wins tomorrow. It is reset tomorrow, so if someone wins, we will get another weapon from this faction rally. But until then, this is the last faction rally weapon to do. Speaking of tomorrow, though, it is the 27th of March, so the 1.1.4 update is finally coming to us. Yes, we have made it, guys. We we done it. We have made it to the start of the revival of Destiny 2. Now, I have not got exact details of what's going to change. Obviously, we already kind of knew pulses and everything were going to change. We haven't got patch notes yet, though. And I have been refreshing that Bungie.net page all day today to see if they posted them. They still haven't. But we did get a video about the 1.1.4 update. I will post it below in the description below. But it is basically the lead design or design lead, Josh Hamrick. He's talking about what the whole update was about and who what their motivation behind it all was basically telling you they weren't going to nerf guns they're going to bring everything up to their like standard which is just amazing and most importantly even with all these buffs and stuff movement speed has become immense i mean you lightning quick now apparently you can run around the map in like no time flat and it, it just improves the whole hero moments that's what they're trying to aim at is inc improving hero moments and how many times you can actually like wipe a team by yourself and like sprint off basically and obviously supers are getting better movement speeds and everything. But that's all to come tomorrow. I'm going to have to leave it there. Which is if you want to look at that video I said. I'll put the link down in the description below. But right now I'm going to focus on this faction rally. What we have right now. Which is this faction rally. And as I said. It is the last faction rally weapon I can do at the moment. And it is the quick claim shotgun tree. Now this is a new monarchy shotgun. It is pretty much the only weapon you can get from new monarchy this week. That's new. Because we already got the reward last last week which was the legal action 2 and obviously they haven't won it this week and they probably won't judging by what that score is at the moment but we'll ignore that for now and obviously i just did a review on a shotgun yesterday the day aside day aside or day aside i know i get names wrong all the time i'm sorry guys it's just i i don't know sometimes it's names i see the name and it's just in my head like oh that's what's called and everyone tells me it's not called that it's called this and i'm like oh uh, whoops <laughs> but yeah the day aside day aside whatever it's called we did a review on that yesterday which is the future war cult shotgun but today we are with the quick claim shotgun tree and without further ado let me go in and show you all of its perks quick claim shotgun tree ownership rules as you can see it is new monarchy with the whole medallion there and the new monarchy emblem it is a hake gun which kind of corresponds to how it seems like new monarchy does literally have tons of hake guns dead orbit have a ton of vest and then future war cult have amalon it seems like each faction has their own special like gun makers but for its intrinsic perk we have aggressive frame high damage high recoil for its barrel attachments, we have rifle barrel, range shotgun barrel, and increases range, greatly decreases handling speed. Next, we have smooth bore, smooth shotgun barrel, greatly increases range at the cost of more projectile spread. And then lastly, we have fluted barrel, ultra light barrel, greatly increases handling speed, slightly increases stability. Now, judging on how the review went yesterday, I don't think I will go near this smooth bore because it does increase the projectile spread. I seem to notice that you're better off having the projectile spread kind of short, so you make sure you kind of get that one shot. Obviously, as well, yeah, you want that range, but this boosts range as well. And this one doesn't do anything really, it just increases handling speed and stability. On a shotgun, do you really need handling speed and stability, to be honest? So I'm just going to stick with the rifle barrel. Then for its magazine perk, we have flared magwell, optimized for fast reloading, slightly increases stability, greatly increases reload speed. Then for its last magazine perk, we have assault mag. This shotgun's magazine is optimized for quick combat, greatly increases stability, increases rate of fire. I don't know which one you'd rather hear. PvP wise, definitely want that assault mag, uh, like stability and increased rate of fire because the rate of fire on this is half of what the day aside was yesterday. The day aside had an RPM of 100, this is an RPM of 50, so this will fire a lot slower. And the day aside is full auto, this just isn't. So this is all about the one shot getting a kill. It's not meant to be two shotting people, I hope it doesn't anyway. But for PvP wise, you definitely want this assault mag on because you won't get more than a full magazine unless I get double power, which is really rare. So you won't get more than a full magazine anyway, so you won't be reloading too much. And then for its trait, we have field prep, increased ammo reserves, faster reload when crouched. But that's it for its perks, so without further ado, let's go into PvP and test it out. Alright, so we're on Pacifica. Yes, this is kind of the map I was hoping for for a shotgun. It's a pretty decent map for shotguns. And Supremacy, a close quarter combat game mode with a shotgun. What I'd love to see. So this is actually kind of first looks at the gun. It's obviously new monarchy. It is pretty bulky looking. It's like a massive, massive gun in the hands. Please let me get this heavy quick though. Oh, stay away. S stay away. Oh, oh. 
Oh, the one shot out the rift. He had extra health too. Oh, I got a headshot too. Okay. Okay, I put uh, someone's up here. Oh, there's a one shot as well. Oh my god. Okay, it is weird using a one shot gun. Oh, that's another one shot. Oh, can we get the. Oh, oh he nearly got the flawless with the gun. Oh, oh. oh, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, damn it, I got too cocky. But man, we just went in with that thing. That is a really good. Like, oh my god, the amount of power this thing does. It's a one shot, like, as soon as you're close enough to them, it's just a one shot straight away. I like this gun. Obviously, the rate of fire is only 50, but you're only really gonna be shooting at one person at a time, unless you, you get in a situation where there's more than one. Okay, I kid you not, I did not get one bit of heavy ammo in that whole game, except from that start. So, I'm going in again. I think it's Pacifica, because obviously I'm loading into the same area, but oh my god, was that frustrating. So, hopefully I get more heavy ammo in this match. So, Pacifica again. Give me some, give me supremacy again. Do it, please. Don't do control. Clash, even clash. clash, I'll take clash. Can you even do control on this map? But let remote. me just get the heavy first, guys. Like, I, I don't want anything else. You get the kills. You get all the kills. You use your supers. Just let me have heavy ammo. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we got him. He was already kind of weak, though. Oh. What? I died from that? No. Oh, we put him to half health at least. But honestly, even though I haven't used it too much, this shotgun, I kind of rather it more than the Deus side that I reviewed yesterday. Because it, it's more reliant as a one-shot. That's going to burn me. But it's more reliant as a one-shot weapon. But we got heavy again. Let's go. We got... Oh, I'm a hunter now. I can go invis. They'll never see it coming. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, he's seeing it coming. No! What the... No, he's seeing it coming. Oh, my God. How did I miss as well? Oh, that was a waste of heavy, so now it's wait again. Okay, okay, 13, 18 seconds, we can do this. Panda, can I have this one? Please, please Panda, let me have this one. He does not talk, he doesn't talk in my in my language of nodding. Could go your way. Oh, oh Could Panda, we're gonna get killed here, Panda, 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 Panda! Panda, we got killed! How did you s Oh, now he's dead. Panda, we should have probably focused on the guys coming around the corner before we went for heavy. Just just a thought, just a thought. Definitely, this is probably like the worst review of a heavy weapon I've ever done in terms of getting power. Finally! Oh my god, this is taken. I got I better not die straight away with it. Oh! Whoa! Oh! I think I survived a Nova Bomb and a rocket. I'm not too Oh, he has a rocket! No, no, no! Oh, no! Oh, I swear I'm having a mini breakdown right now. Maybe I could get one more heavy, maybe, if I get this one. But, like, the game's really... Oh, okay, I can get it, actually. Okay, last chance with heavy to get at least one kill. Oh, okay, I missed him. And I'm dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, game. Like, thanks. Thank you. Oh, You're my defeated. God. Yeah, I'm not defeated. I'm annoyed. I'm, I'm quitting. Look, the, the rage quit. The, oh, it didn't even let me rage quit. Are you serious? All right, so we are on the burnout. Hopefully I get more heavy in this. Honestly, I'm at my wits end not getting heavy. Supremacy. And it's supremacy again. Nice close quarter stuff. Come on, guys. Just just let me get heavy. That's that's the only job you guys have to give me. Just let me get heavy and uh, use, like, struggle with other stuff. Oh, my God. The first heavy spawns over here, didn't they? Shh. They won't see me. Oh, they've seen us. Oh, I got heavy. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, I'm going for the guy who's going for our flank, though. Oh, there's a one shot. Oh, oh come on. There's a two shotty sort of thing. I'm kind of missing with the shotgun, but oh my god. It seems like I can go in at the very start of the match and then just completely mess up on the rest of it. Oh, come on. We're team. Oh, <laughs> buddy, I was jumping. <laughs> my own team, they pushed me back there when I was jumping at them. They probably know where I am, to be honest. Oh, oh no. No, you are not getting. Oh. Did I not get him? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. I got the flick though on that guy. You won't be able to do that in the PS4, guys. I'm sorry. That's, it's just the way it is. I am on PC. Oh, Palace, don't pick up heavy. No, Palace. Palace. It's this, it's, it's this again. I, I get the first heavy. Nobody lets me get the rest of the heavies. And he's all bully me and not letting me have anything. Oh, God. I'm getting mental. I honestly think there's a conspiracy against me right now that I can't pick up heavy. They're all plotting against me. All right, 13 seconds. I'm going to put a smoke out there. Just to ward them off. Oh, Palace, will you leave me alone? Oh, Palace, we're gonna get shot. Palace, we're gonna get shot. We, you just got the last heavy, Palace. 
Get, let, yes, I got it. Lap Palace, you got last one, okay? Fair is fair. Okay, I got him, but <laughs> I shouldn't have wasted two shots on someone. Here we go, though. Oof, you won't see me. Whoa! Okay, we got him, but man, he just shredded me. I didn't know he had heavy. Damn it. But honestly, like, the gun itself, it is actually pretty good. I mean, it one-shots pretty much every time I've seen it one-shot. Unless you're kind of, like, flicking it like I am if you kind of go like that. Because you're kind of missing a bit of the spread that way. And obviously, you guys in the PS4, that won't happen for you guys. But honestly, the gun itself, it is a shotgun I'd rather use as a heavy, like, weapon. Because I just think... Like, power-wise, that, that is what you want out of a shotgun. You want those one-shot shotguns. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, that is a that is a Legend of Aquarius. Oh, my God. I, I almost had it. A new legend would have been told. The quick claim would have beaten Legend of Aquarius. That would have been a sight or story for the ages. It would have been told to the grandchildren. Told down the millennia. But alas, it, it is not true because I lost. Even though he missed a shot and I got team shot. But I'm telling you, the shotgun itself, it actually feels alright. PvP wise, I don't know what it'd be like PvE because it has a really solid rate of fire. PvP, this thing packs a punch. Okay, so now they won't kill me with a stupid Legend of Acreus or Sins past. Cool. Oh. Oh, okay, you took him out, guys. He was just destroying without me. Oh, I'm gonna get him when he's running away. Oh, really? <laughs> the range kill. Oh, that. Oh. Wait, are you seeing that right now? That is. He has no health! What is this? Game! Like, what? He has no health! Like, like. I, I. I don't know what to say right now. He literally had no health. There was nothing there. Like, it wasn't even like. I know when there's the slight bit red, but I'm telling you, there was nothing there. That is not a loud game. I am calling hacks. He's getting reported. I don't care. That is just ridiculous. And that is the end of the game. Ooh, I got some masterwork weapons, but ugh. I mean, I got more heavy in that match. I'm happy with that. But honestly, how did I not kill that guy? That, I call hacks. That is a joke. And that is it from me and the quick claim shotgun three. Obviously, I would have rather to get a lot more use out of it, more heavy. It just wasn't to be. I went into like three games there. And the first two, yeah, they sucked. I got, like, no heavy. I did all right in that last Vex map. But honestly, this shotgun is actually, it packs a punch. This thing is near enough to a one-shot in, like, most distances. I mean, I think it's a great, great legendary shotgun. If you're, if you're looking for one that's, like, an instant really kill. Because you can slide in with this thing and pretty much melt. But again, you can see that the Legend of Acreus is just outstanding as a shotgun. It's just, it's because the Legend of Acreus, the spread in it is just like a cone. And it's just, if you're anywhere in like one of the butt pellets out of it, like hit you, you're pretty much dead. So that is why Legend of Acreus is just ridiculously strong. But as far as legendaries goes, this is one of the best. For me anyway, because I rather shotguns that have massive impact. I don't care about how quick they fire. Because there's never really opportunities where you need to like, really, really have to like two shot people. Sometimes you can, they're all camping together. But most of the times you have enough time to like, with this RPM, you have enough time to shoot the second guy anyway. But even though this is a good shotgun, it wouldn't really be worth your time grinding just for New Monarchy. Because as I said, this is like the only weapon you can get from New Monarchy at the moment. It is not worth grinding, like pledging your allegiance to one faction just for this one gun. Because the other two have such better weapons. Honestly, this wouldn't be worth your pledge, New Monarchy, this one. That's probably why they are doing so bad this month. It's just not worth the pledge for them because this is literally the only gun. And their reward is a grenade launcher, which doesn't even look amazing itself. But if you have three characters and you've got all the other weapons, you might as well just pledge your legions, get this gun. That's the only way I would say if you really want this gun. Is if you have three characters and you have all the other weapons, then you can bother trying to grind this gun. Beforehand, if you haven't got anything and you're like, which one should I go for first? I know it's a bit late as well because it's literally day before reset. But definitely don't think of this gun as something you should really grind for. It's good, yeah. But it's not worth it more than the Eternal Slumber will be or the Dream. And plus, I just want New Monarchy to lose. Because I want to I want to make them lose their win streak. I want to do it. Dead Orbit, be my boys and do it. I, I would rather Future War Cult get their first win. But Dead Orbit seem to be able to do it. As I said, that is it for me in the Quick Claim. Tomorrow is Reset 27th, which is the 1.1.4 update. We have been waiting so long for it, guys. We, we, we're nearly there. We're nearly at the revival of Destiny 2. 
That reminds me as well, if there is a specific gun you want me to like kind of review in this update because I know pulses are getting a big update, but I don't really know which one to do a video on first. It's looking like I might do Eternal Slumber first because it is the most recent and it's fresh in everyone's head and it is a unique kinetic pulse rifle. That might be the first one I do it on, but there's so many to do like Legal Action 2, Vision Swing, everyone's thinking is going to be amazing. There's also the inaugural address, which is the raid pulse rifle. There is a bunch of and a bunch of weapons that could become amazing in this patch. So if you have one that you really think is going to be amazing, post it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I'll try, if it's really good and it seems like a good weapon or if it's really popular, I might do a video on that first. And eventually I'll get around to doing any of the weapons you suggest as well. Most of the weapons are getting a buff and if you want specific ones to be done early enough, I will try my best to get them done. But that is all for tomorrow's stuff. Wait for the patch and I'll see what it's like. And hopefully this is the revival of Destiny 2. We've been waiting guys. We've been waiting. We're nearly there. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like and if you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.